What's up guys, it's yet another beautiful day. And as usual, we have so much to talk about. XRP is moving to the top, and we are about to witness one of the biggest price jumps in history. Undoubtedly, this coin has been making waves in the crypto community, and now it's about time we see the results in its price movements. The market had been cooling off over the last couple of days, but now it seems like it's picking up momentum again. Hello guys and welcome to Money Side, where we let the money do the talking. If you are new here, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get updates when we drop a new video. To my Money Side fam, hey, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that like button and show us some love. Now as we get started with today's video, we have this tweet from Digital Asset Buy that says, XRP is going to pump no matter what. He shares a video by BitBoy underscore crypto who talks about XRP is going to pump no matter what. He states that big moves are being made, but we are getting a little tight with the bull market window unless the Ethereum decoupling scenario comes and we don't see. We hear from BitBoy that eventually XRP will decouple from Bitcoin and pump its way through the roof. Another tweet here from Torre Cortan. He says that the great reset could be as simple as a large MP wiping out the electrical network. People fail to realize that all it takes is shutting down our everyday methods of communication and source of electricity to cause an apocalypse. We might now be sure what the cause will be, but it's better if you're prepared for it all. Another one from CK113311 tweeted saying, when XRP is flipped, lives of both believers and non-believers will be changed forever. Some will rejoice, many will despair, all will regret. He further tweets saying, people who didn't buy will regret, people who sold before will regret, people who sell too early will regret, people will regret not buying more. A tweet from Aries 503 15 245 says, Nilo Angelo 314 makes so much sense. XRP could only reach those ridiculously high prices after a digital reset. Value is dependent on how much an asset is needed. Stop asking when moon. Ask when collapse. That's the only way and what direction the narrative is building towards. We already know that the collapse is about to take place. And soon after the destruction of the world of fiat, we will witness, we will see the new lands of the digital era rise. And this is when we will see XRP thrive. Now, as we move forward, we have more exciting news from financefeeds.com. We have this article that was posted earlier today that says, SEC v. Ripple, proposed bill offers regulatory clarity in the middle of lawsuit. Representative Don Beyer states there is no comprehensive legal framework existing to regulate the digital asset market or protect market participants. The Digital Asset Market Structure and Investor Protection Act was introduced late in July as a piece of legislation that would protect consumers and promote innovation by incorporating digital assets into existing financial regulatory structures. The proposed legislation was announced by Representative Don Beyer, Democrat Virginia, who believes the United States should provide a legal and regulatory environment that promotes this type of innovation, which is creating new goods and services. Digital assets and blockchain technology hold great promise, and it is clear that assets like Bitcoin and Ether are here to stay. Unfortunately, the current digital asset market structure and regulatory framework is ambiguous and dangerous for investors and consumers. Digital asset holders have been subjected to rampant fraud, theft, and market manipulation for years. Yet Congress has hitherto ignored the entreaties of industry experts and federal regulators to create a comprehensive legal framework. Our laws are behind the times, and my bill would start the long overdue process of updating them to give digital asset holders and investors basic protections. Today, over 11,000 separate digital asset tokens exist, with a market capitalization of over $1.5 trillion and an estimated 20 to 46 million Americans owning Bitcoin at all, many of whom have been hacked, exposed to market manipulation or frauds. Don Beyer states that no comprehensive legal framework exists to regulate the digital asset market or protect market participants. As such, the Digital Asset Market Structure and Investor Protection Act of 2021 would promote innovation and U.S. jobs by providing legal and regulatory certainty for digital assets, provide fundamental investor protections to U.S. retail investors and other consumers, improve trade reporting and transparency, 
strengthen the Bank Secrecy Act requirements related to the treatment of digital assets and protect U.S. investors in the digital assets sector, said the U.S. Representative from Virginia. Specifically, the bill would create statuary definitions for digital assets and digital asset securities and provide the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, with authority over digital asset securities and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, the CFTC, with authority over digital assets. Provide legal certainty as to the regulatory status for the top 90% of the digital asset market by market capitalization and trading volume through a joint SEC-CFTC rulemaking. Require digital asset transactions that are not recorded on the publicly distributed ledger to be reported on a registered digital asset trade repository within 24 hours to minimize the potential for fraud and promote transparency. Explicitly add digital assets and digital asset securities to the statutory definition of monetary instruments under the Bank Secrecy Act, the BSA, formalizing the regulatory requirements for digital assets and digital asset securities to comply with anti-money laundering, record keeping, and reporting requirements. Provide the Federal Reserve with explicit authority to issue a digital version of the U.S. dollar. Clarify that digital assets digital asset securities and fiat-based stablecoins are not U.S. legal tender and provide the U.S. Treasury Secretary with authority to permit or prohibit U.S. dollar and other fiat-based stablecoins. Direct the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, the FDIC, National Credit Union Administration, the NCUA, and Securities Investor Protection Corporation, the SIPC, to issue consumer advisories on non-coverage of digital assets or digital asset securities to ensure that consumers are aware that they are not insured or protected in the same way as bank deposits or securities. Require legislative recommendations from FinCEN, the SEC and CFTC to clarify dividing lines between who must register as a money services business versus who must register as a securities or commodities exchange. The proposed legislation was announced the same day SEC Chair Gary Gensler replied to Senator Elizabeth Warren's letter requesting information about the regulator's authority to regulate cryptocurrency exchanges properly and to determine if Congress needs to act to ensure that the SEC has the proper authority to close existing gaps in regulation. SEC Commissioners Hester Pierce and Elad Roisman have recently made a public statement a gift from the heavens, according to attorney Jeremy Hogan, admitting to the lack of clarity within the digital asset space, further contributing to Ripple's claim that it had no fair notice that XRP could be deemed a security. Ripple's fair notice defense is believed to be a threat to the SEC's future enforcement actions against the crypto ecosystem. The agency itself warned the court that a Ripple win on fair notice would nullify the Howey test. And earlier today, we had a recent development in the case where attorney Thien Vo Hogan said that Ripple is not subjected to the SEC under the pending bill. According to another article also published on financefeeds.com, it says, So here, applying the new law to Ripple's situation, we pass those two tests because the law is not criminal and none of the defendants is charged with a crime. And also because in this specific case, the law would not create greater civil penalties. In fact, it would probably lead to the end of the lawsuit. As to legislator intention, the Landgraf case points to the effect that the statute will have. If the law increases the party's liability for past conduct, it's not applied retroactively. This specific proposed bill increases liability, especially for exchanges, but not as to whether XRP is a security or not. So in that case, the new law helps Ripple, and therefore it will very likely be applied retroactively. So our conclusion from applying this pending law to the SEC v. Ripple case is that the courts would likely apply the law retroactively and under this new definition, at least a large part, certainly the last few years of Ripple's business practices, XRP would be defined as just a digital asset and not a digital asset security and therefore not subject to SEC regulation. This would mean XRP is a digital asset and subject to regulation by the Commodity Trading Commission and not the SEC. And large parts of the SEC lawsuit would become moot, attorney Thien Vu Hogan concluded. Yes, guys, now time to take a look at the technical picture of XRP. 
The chart may look complicated at first, but here is the breakdown to simplify the thought process. Why the weekly chart, not the daily, hourly chart? This is because the Fibonacci retracement tool works best and is more reliable on larger time frames. The Fib channel also works best on larger time frames. However, needs ample amount of past data to be utilized properly. In this case, the XRP chart so far is respecting the channel with no deviations out of it. The border blue lines are just to tighten up the channel from the wick tops and wick bottoms. The red trend line taken from the top of the 2013 bull run and runs across the bottom of the consolidation in the 2017 bull run meets the resistance level at 0.3916, which is the top of the first run in that period. Using this, I drew a blue line from the top of the bull run down to those two points. This is the point where I believe each bull run will be in full effect. To confirm the $13 price range as per the FIB retracement, I have drawn a green trend line which runs from the bottom of the chart and is respected through the 2017 and 2020-2021 run. This ends up hitting the tightened channel, the blue border, at the $13 price range. This is more clear when zoomed in. A second confirmation can be found with the thin blue line running from the top of the 2013 bull run to the top of the candle close in the first run-up of 2017's bull run, which is also respected through the 2020-2021 bull run. Lastly, I took the trend line from the top of the 2013 bull run through the top of the wick of the first run-up in 2017, which lands at a price of $80. I believe this will be close to the final value of the asset at the end of this bull run. I believe this will be another trend line which will be respected in both this run and the upcoming 2024 bull run. As always, trade safely guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Tell us what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to click on that subscribe button down below. Turn on notifications that way you're informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again, and I'll look forward to seeing you in our next video.